All right, hi guys. I'm going to do a quick rundown. This is a video that I picked up on on Twitter. Um, it's hijab in his car bragging like crazy. So I thought I'll give this a quick rundown. It's only a couple of seconds. It's not even a minute. So this is going to really be a quickie. We're at Universal the Twitter Muslims. I have an announcement to make. Now, he's making an announcement. Now, this is how, how important he is. He's, he's going to make a video and he needs to announce this. We spoke, me and Apus for me and apos so number one it's always me and somebody else so he puts himself first and then it's like a like a like a schoolyard bully like a bully and, and a primitive one at that he it's apostate prophet it's ap and and he, he puts this us behind it because in his childish brain it, it sounds like a puss like a pussy where he is the one who's actually afraid because he was challenged to a debate and he ran away, can't handle it because it's not a controlled environment, not an environment that he can control because he only does censorship and bragging. That's that's all he does. Well, and lying. I mean, yeah, that we've seen. But then it, 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 they went and they ambushed apostate prophet um, by using a trick. And this is what he calls it. An hour and a half online on Zoom, finally. It was a surprise for him. Obviously, he didn't want to do this when I offered him the first time. So the way we got him was... We got him. He didn't want to do it the first time I offered this to him. No, you idiot. You Again, you're a liar. Number one, apostate prophet challenged you to a debate. You ran away. And then you said, well, what I can do, yes, I agree, but it needs to be face to face. Now, who in his right mind is going to fly all the way over to the UK just to sit there and, and tell you the same the same stuff that he can tell you um, over a, a you know modern technology some equipment and then who in his right mind is going to go and sit face to face with you when what you do is you threaten people you, you threaten their wives you threaten their children you threaten to do nasty things to people if you do not like them and you do not like anybody who can show you up to what you actually are because you're just another idiot and who's going to do that in their right mind nobody is and now for once a apostate prophet came on and talked to, to wanted to talk to um this 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 fun couple sali and, and slim who both admitted they know nothing about islam so they they were just tricked into that using their channel. You see, this is his arrogance. He thinks obviously he thought it's it's easy meat. No, he did not. He was this the same way as I will go and I will chat to people. I will go and talk to them and see what this is all about. Not thinking this is easy or hard or something like this. No, I'm just interested in having a dialogue and having a conversation. You, however, are not. For you, it's gotcha. If for you, it's um, I win. You are finished, boy. This is how primitive you are. Unbelievable. And there are so many Muslim followers, fanboys, who think this guy is great, who thinks that he's something special. He's not. He's just there to get people to catch them out, to ambush them and then say, yeah, you see, we got him. Today went Adam Saleh's podcast and Adam Saleh surprised him, surprised him with a special guest. Yes, and a special guest. Yes, he did, because he said, can you have a chat with uh, this, this, uh, with my boyfriend and me? And then when he agreed, they suddenly said, well, we don't know anything, so we're going to bring somebody else in. And then, then the hijab popped in. Just had an hour and a half conversation with him. That was not a conversation. Apostate Prophet schooled hijab. He totally, totally controlled everything. He did not get in any way agitated or anything. Just very calmly showed hijab what an idiot he is and that the arguments that he has are simply nonsensical. And then when hijab said, well, give me your best shot, he says, no, this is not a debate. Because as soon as I tell you something, you're going to start talking over me. And then we're going to have the same shouting session we always have. He's going to do what he wants to do. And that is go into a controlled environment where hijab is too scared to go, apparently. I don't know why. With all insults aside, asking him to provide his best arguments. And you're going to hear his best arguments. No, you're not. Because he... he he very clearly said he is not going to give anyone his best argument outside of a controlled debate. 
He is not going to fire off his shots here where everybody can just simply talk over him the way it happened. And he's going to wait until he's in a controlled, in a regulated, in a moderated environment where he has the time to bring his argument, lay it on the table. And then we'll see because hijab doesn't have any arguments. He's never refuted an argument. If somebody says, yeah, he did this and this, he says, no, this is a misunderstanding because actually it is something fell from there. Something completely different. He doesn't know how to refute somebody. He can only stand there and sing and do his clown act, but he can't really refute anybody because there's no intellectual honesty there. You see, he says he's got four, six, 18, I don't know how many degrees. He doesn't. I don't know. He's got his vanity page where, where he shows how many um, academic titles and things. Like, and all of a sudden there, there's nothing left. He says, God, he's got a master in history. Well, maybe if, if he asks nicely, he can get a refund because he's got no clue what's going on. And, and now he's sitting here in his car and thinks he's, he can be a big mouth that he's a special guest. No, he's not. You're a buffoon. You're an uneducated clown who doesn't know what's going on with a big mouth. You're just a narcissist. You, there's nothing, nothing special about you. You don't have any arguments. <laughs> to those arguments. And you're going to see him fumble time and time and time again. Time, time and time again. It doesn't matter how much you repeat nonsense. It still remains nonsense. He completely schooled you. You had nothing going there. All you try is just go, yeah, you misunderstood and this is this. Absolutely not. I mean, it's not our fault that the Quran is so badly written. You need to live with it. Don't lie about it, just accept it and move on. There's nothing he got from me, uh, except for corrections of his misunderstandings of Islam. And what you're going to see <laughs> is basically the end. You're going to see that this guy is not good at any field, he's not a theologian, he's not a philosopher, he's not a... Neither are you, hijab. You're not a theologian, you're not a scientist, you're not anything. You're just a loser who's sitting in his car making videos. That's all you do. Come on, get real. You need to face it. You know, there is such a thing called reality. You've got absolutely nothing. What is all admission? Like, you're going to see, like, the levels. And uh, therefore, don't please, don't, don't bring people like this to us again. Nobody brought anyone to you. You are the one who ambushed him, not the other way around. He came there because he was invited. Apostate prophet was invited by Adam Saleh to go and have a chat about I can't remember what. You came there and ambushed him. So don't twist things and stop your lies. Why do you lie when anybody can see this? Anybody can check this? That's, that's not only like dishonest, that's stupid. We need to go move on to bigger and better things. This guy has nothing to offer. You're going to see for yourself. Okay. And so why are you so obsessed with him? Why are you so desperate to talk to him? Why are you so desperate to refute him? Because apostate prophet is having an effect. Because Muslims are looking at him and saying, oh goodness, he is right. And then they come to you and they say, well, I have doubts. And then you shout at them for having doubts. When you are the one who is failing, you are the one who is failing. And you've got to face it. You're a nobody in a car, and that's it. My goodness, get a life.